Our challenge today is to do a painting or drawing looking out your window. Artists love drawing window views because you can show the inside and the outside at the same time to tell a story. Last week we did still life artworks and these showed objects on a table. Now let's extend our view to include the view outside the window. A still life painting and a landscape painting all in one picture. Pierre Bonnard has painted a still life painting and a landscape painting in one picture by showing us the view through the window. We can see far into the distant mountains as well as the details of the objects on the table. In this painting, Vincent van Gogh makes a window look like a picture hanging on a wall. The two views tell a story. The woman outside picks the cotton, then the man inside weaves it. Henry Matisse loved to use bright colours, even if they aren't the colours that are really there. Here he has brought the bright colours from the sailing boats outside into the colours of the room. Pablo Picasso had some pigeons nesting on his windowsill, so he painted them in his picture. Although there are trees to sit in, the pigeons have chosen the balcony, which shows a nice connection between humans and nature. René Magritte often painted imaginary scenes that looked a bit like dreams. It looks like his window has smashed and there's glass everywhere. It looks like there's a story to be told about this scene. Australian artist Brett Whiteley liked to show indoor and outdoor scenes with swirly shapes and unusual colours. Can you see the still life sections in this painting? The view out the window has a wild energy, while the objects inside seem still and tamed. In this drawing, Brett Whiteley has even included his drawing pad and his pencils, so we feel like we're in his studio with him. Find a window in your home that you'd like to draw. First draw the shape of the window so it's like a picture frame on your page. Draw the still life items that you can see inside the room. Then draw the landscape that you can see outside the window. If you're very little, maybe a grown up can draw the window and you can draw the view. Don't worry if it's not perfect. Art is never perfect. We're all artists from the moment we put a pencil on the page. Watch the next video and see how I've done it. What we want to do is create a, two pictures, one of the inside and one of the outside. Then we're going to put them together. So this is my window that I drew downstairs. This is my kitchen window. Um, I decided to do this one in black and white because I'm going to show what's on the outside of the window in colour because I think that would be a cool contrast. So first thing to do is to find your window and draw the inside of what you can see. You have a look here. I've drawn my kitchen and I've put in some of the pots and pans. I actually left out lots of stuff as well. There was also a manky old sponge. There was some other clutter there. There were some bits and pieces that I didn't want to draw. So I just left them out because that's the thing. You are the boss of your picture. You don't have to draw everything that is there. You can be, as an artist, you can decide what you want to show. So that's the first drawing. The second drawing I want you guys to do is the view outside the window. So this is the view outside my window. I can see across the road to the park. And parts of the, when I look outside and look at the park, the trees are a bit browny gray and I thought that was a bit boring. So I've done them in blue. Okay, so now that we've got our two pictures, I want you to cut out the glass where the window panes will be. So you can have a look through it. And then we're gonna put one behind the other. So we can see this is inside and this is outside. And to do that, we're gonna make a little 3D artwork. So I'll just show you how we're gonna do that. We're gonna take our drawing, get some bits of cardboard like this. I'm gonna do, I think, three bits of cardboard on either side. That's one, two, three. And then one, two, three here. So we're creating a little raised surface. And then when we put this on top, so that's what we're gonna do. We're also gonna put um, cardboard in the top and bottom as well. So it's sort of padded up down here and up there and put a bit of glue 
between each piece. So what we end up with is a picture within a picture. Hey guys, I'm now down in the kitchen. I just thought I'd show you the view that I drew. So this is my view from our kitchen window, which is quite a narrow little window, um, but it's nice and tall, which is good. So this was the view that I drew. And you can see that I've just left out certain things. I, I didn't want to go in there. Um, and also looking at the view outside, so we can see the park over there. And I thought the trees looked a bit brown, so I thought I'd draw them in blue because I felt like it. So that's the window that I've chosen to do. And I've even included some of the washing up in the bottom there. And now I've stuck my pieces of cardboard on. So I've layered those, so I've got three layers all glued together. And I've put one on each edge of the picture. And they're all the same height. They're all three layers of cardboard high. So now I can just glue that bit on the top. And that's my picture. There's my drawing. And there's my window. I've conveniently left out the uh, recycling bin and the old keg that's been there since the Halloween party we had last year. <laughs> but okay, so Elliot's chosen his window. He's doing this one, which is quite a complicated window. He's up for a challenge. And you're sketching in all of the different window panes at the moment. Another thing I want you guys to remember when you're doing this is you can look out any window of your house and do what you're and draw what you've seen. Um, some of these artists had amazing views of the south coast of France with yachts and things like that. You don't need to have something really interesting out your window. Maybe out your window is just your neighbor's wall. Maybe it's another window. Um, you can decide what you put outside your window. If you wanted to draw a unicorn spewing rainbows that happens to be in your garden, you can draw that if you want. You're the boss of your picture. Very good. And there's lots of things in front of that window, aren't there? Yeah. So you can draw all the bits in front. Right, so this is Frida's window that she wants to do. Um, but because she's only little, she's six, and she thought it might be tricky to draw the window. So I've drawn the window for her, and I'm gonna cut it out. So I've drawn the star that we've got here, and I've done the dream catcher. I've got them at the top, and the rainbow. And there was a pot of pencils there, but I moved it. <laughs> but she thinks that maybe this view isn't particularly interesting so i think what she's going to do is she's going to draw a completely different picture um that might be i think it's going to be cats having a picnic under a rainbow so sure why not so this is frida's view out the window we've got a picnic so that's bacon then Acorns. Bacon and acorns in our picnic And world. also there's going to be salmon for the cats. Oh, excellent. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys a little tip in cutting things out. The smaller the scissors, the better. We've got Kate Bush wailing in the background. Now, a good thing to do, which is very, very much a grown-up job, not a kid's job at all, is to cut a little slit like this to get you started. So if you open your scissors up, grown-ups, not kids, only grown-ups, and then you can use it a bit like you would a Stanley knife or a scalpel. And just draw a little line. I've done it on the with the drawing pad underneath. And that will give you a little opening. And that will help you to start off your cutting. And then when you cut out the rest of it, you can just get stuck in that way and you don't have to bend the picture. Nice.
we've got our masterpieces here. Wow. Meow. Meow. We've got another cat artwork from Frida. So this is the view outside. <laughs> we can see a cat in here who's drinking champagne. Yeah. <laughs> a cat drinking champagne and a picnic rug um, and some ants down there. That's an ant. Then up in the tree there's a squirrel. Then... Here, there's a, there's a dog. A dog having an ice lolly. Yeah, and he's wearing like one of those uh, jackets that's all puffy and it's blue. <laughs> cool. Okay, this is Elliot's artwork. He's, uh, he's got lots of the indoor things that we have on that, our windowsill. That guy's saying Jeff. Yeah, and there's someone climbing the tree shouting, Jeff! <laughs> <laughs> that's very cool. Jeff! And we've got my... Thank you so much for joining us today. I've loved seeing all of your window views, what you can see outside, what you're imagining you can see outside. It's brilliant. See you later. Bye.